outside edge and soften that inside rein. There you're coming. Feel that. And do it again. Just take that inside hind leg right up into your outside hand. Take your center up against the outside rein. Send your center up against the outside rein. Right. You liked that one, didn't you? Right. That's great. I'm Sally Swift, author of the book Centered Riding. This video shows you the major concepts in my book. With these concepts, I teach riders to become more aware of their bodies, and I will show you how to develop and use this awareness to help improve communication with your horse and help your riding. This videotape has seven segments, the four basics, anatomy, changing the body, balance and body freedom, walk in the following seat, rising trot, and hands. Part of this tape was made at a summer clinic in which a number of instructors were participating. For their benefit, I enumerate on how I teach specific concepts. Now let's begin. In my teaching, I use what I call my four basics. If you will incorporate them into your consciousness, on or off the horse, you will find that everything else is easier to learn. But it's fun to learn it on a horse because he tells you when you're wrong, helps you correct it, and lets you know when you're right. My first basic is eyes. Now, I want to ask Kelly to look straight ahead at something out there. Post anything you want to look at. Really concentrate on it. Don't look at anything else. Just focus on that one thing. That's all you can see, right? Yep. Now I want to change the way you look and let you take in everything else. While you still look at that one object, let everything else come into your vision. This is peripheral vision. Now, you can see me as while you look at that object. Yep. Now, tell me when I go out of sight. Now. Okay. And look around and see where I am. Now you see what you discovered is that with soft eyes you can see more than half a circle. A little more than 180 degrees radius. So that what you that your if you allow your eyes the chance, you can become aware of a great deal more than we usually are aware of. Now we call the focused eyes hard eyes. They're very easy if you look at your horse's ears. We call the peripheral vision soft eyes. Very easy if you look out up and out into space above your horse's ears. I want you to go back and forth between hard eyes and soft eyes, looking at his ears and looking out, and tell me which way it's easiest for you to feel what is going on between the bottom of your seat and the saddle? It's easiest to feel when I'm looking, having soft eyes. When you have soft eyes, looking when you're looking out. up. Right. Which way is it easiest to feel what your horse's hind feet are doing? Hard or soft eyes? Soft eyes. Soft eyes again. Good. Okay, you can come in. Now, what you've discovered is that soft eyes are more than just eyes. They're a tool for you to become aware. They're a tool for awareness of your own body and of your horse's body. My second basic is breathing. Breathing is dependent on your diaphragm, the biggest muscle in your body. As you see in the drawing, it goes across the bottom of your rib cage and cups up into it, going higher and wider as you breathe. And it has a big root attached to the front of your lower spine. If you put your hand on your belly, with your thumb about over your navel, you'll find motion there. If you breathe only in your chest, as some people do, you will find no motion. Breathing in your ribcage is harder to do and causes tension and is like blowing up a balloon in your chest. Instead, imagine a bellows in your belly. 
bellows move a lot of air in and out easily, and the ribs will rise and fall on the air. So breathe, allowing your whole body to be involved. I tell people to imagine breathing into their legs and out their arms and head. Kelly is breathing normally. Then she holds her breath for a few seconds. And notice how it stiffens her back and body. You wouldn't like it if your horse held his breath, and he won't like it if you hold yours. So keep breathing while you ride. It's not always easy. My third basic is centering. The biggest nerve center in your body for body control and energy lies against the lower spine, behind and below your navel. This is where you should ride from. The mind can give the directions, but the job will be done most efficiently if you ride from your center. How do you achieve centered control? Use soft eyes to become aware of your body and organize your breathing. Think about your diaphragm and let your breathing slide down to and through your body. Soon you will find yourself breathing to and through your center. As an aid, you may also think of an image such as an internal electric generator sparking energy in your center. Allow yourself to be one of those rocking dolls that are heavily weighted at the bottom. You can push the top over as far as you want, but it will always bounce upright again. This is the way your body should feel, so stable and deep at the bottom that the top can do nothing but remain balanced and upright. When you discover an image or thought that works for you, hold on to it and practice with it. Eventually, every time you return to that image, you will automatically feel that deep, centered control. These three, soft eyes, breathing, and centering, rely on each other and interact. You breathe your way to center, you send yourself to breathe, and they both take soft eyes. Go in through any of the three routes, and you will end up in your center. My fourth basic building blocks depends on the first three. Children's building blocks must be stacked carefully, or they will fall down. Your feet are your bottom building block, and must be squarely under you. Above that, for flat work, will be stacked your pelvis, your ribs, shoulders, neck, and head. The well-known plumb line will then fall from your ear through your shoulder, hip, and ankle. It will also go through your center, which is the most important. If you're a jockey, hunt seat rider, or whatever, some of the building blocks become levers and shock absorbers. But your center must stay over your feet if you are to be balanced correctly. Good western riding is beautifully balanced. The cutting horse riders would never stay on if this were not so. They use all the basics continually. If you incorporate these four basics into your life, soft eyes, breathing, centering, and building blocks, everything you do will be made easier, be it riding, driving your car, office work, peeling the carrots, or whatever.